When I show people the mushroom boat in my studio or other aquafung projects, the question that I get the most is, isn't this going to decompose? If you take a material that is made with mushroom mycelium and put it in the ocean, how do you stop it from immediately falling apart and breaking down? And it will break down and it will decompose and it is biodegradable. It has properties very similar to wood. Wood can be very hydrophobic and if we throw it in the compost pile or put it through a wood chipper, it'll decompose rapidly. Uh, so the trick there is to take a biodegradable material and um, use it in a way that serves a function that is reliable for something like making a boat, that we want a boat that's not going to fall apart. But then when we're done with it, we can put it through the wood chipper and return it to the earth, and it won't end up in a landfill for thousands of years after we're dead. To test the hydrophobic properties of this material, I made bricks of mushroom mycelium and placed them in tubs of salt water for over three weeks and recorded their decomposition. To make these bricks, I used the same species of mushroom, the Ganoderma polypore that I collected off the streets of Los Angeles for my mushroom boat. Uh, I propagated that mycelium for four weeks in a brick mold on a hemp-based substrate, the same substrate I used for my boat. I dried those materials um, until the bricks were completely inert. There's no living mushroom in these bricks, um, lightweight and strong and left them in the salt water. Uh, there was a control, so this was a completely unsealed brick, just the mycelium on the hemp that it was propagated on. Um, other bricks had a, a soy-based sealant, a natural biodegradable sealant uh, from my friend at Mike Obui. Thank you, Sue Van Hook. Um, locally sourced beeswax, biodegradable, a synthetic uh, polyurethane, water-based polyurethane coating. Uh, shellac and shellac with beeswax so as expected the bricks didn't show significant signs of decomposition after 23 days uh, the control uh, did uh, get a little bit moldy uh, there was a halo of green mold around the control it increased 35 percent in weight from its weight before I put it in salt water uh, after drying the control the brick looks pretty good. Uh, it's still quite strong and you almost wouldn't know that I had left it in salt water for 23 days. So even in the worst case scenario, um, these materials really, really hold up in salt water. Um, shellac is by and far the highest performing sealant that I used, uh, even more than beeswax on top of the shellac. Um, the combination was not as efficient as just shellac. Uh, the shellac only increased 12% in weight after 23 days in salt water. Um, there is no visible signs of mold. Um, it, it didn't bloat, it didn't uh, warp. Uh, it did better than I even expected. Uh, shellac is a really awesome bioresin to use in the studio. It's a resin um, that is dissolved in ethanol and is uh, harvested from a female lac bug. Uh, there's kind of a really cool rabbit hole to go down with lac uh, bugs and the way shellac is produced, if, if that is interesting to you. The shellac was more efficient than the synthetic polyurethane, which, ooh, we don't like the synthetics and plastic. Uh, so that was nice to see. Uh, Soy-based paint did great. Um, even on a white material, you only see just a little bit of discoloration. There probably is a bit of cross-contamination in the study since um, some of these bricks were sharing the same tubs of salt water. Um, so I, you know, I have to figure that into it. But by, by far, uh, the best results were with the shellac, much more than the beeswax that I've been using. So I'm probably going to jump ship and stop using as much beeswax. Uh, so yeah, even, even after um, wiping the mold off, letting these dry, they're still in great shape. These are great materials. They're very hydrophobic. They don't immediately fall apart in salt water. And you could do the study for much, much longer than 23 days. I just worked really hard to keep mold out of the space. And as things were starting to look uh, pretty green, I pulled them out. And I'm not really planning on uh, producing anything that will be in the ocean for more than 48 hours. So um, this was more than enough data for me and hopefully um, shows, uh, demonstrates some of the things that I've been talking about.